Okay, we're back with, I got a new idea. <laughs> if you said it's not an original idea, it isn't, but, you know, if you said, what, why, when do you start putting the pager on puppies? I'm going to tag Mike in this. Uh, I'll, tag, I'll tag Lucy. I'll tag all of them. Uh, I'll tag Courtney. Uh, but, you know, when they, when they made the collar small, you could start, whoops, sorry, I should have seen this. <laughs> when they made the collar small, you could start Yay. putting it on puppies. But if you said, well, what if they never got big? Is there any other possible application? And there is, uh, there is. And let me show you what I thought of. It's like, oh, get over yourself, lady. Ah. Yeah. But if, if, if what we're using, if the collar is effective for two reasons. It's effective because they can feel it and they can hear it. So it would still be effective if they could just hear it. So that's my new premise. So if you said, well, what do you do? Scoot along like a uh, bumblebee? Kind of. All right, watch. And if you said, well, how could you? All right, watch. Oops, hang on. So turn your collar on, idiot. Yeah, you actually have to have it turned on. Okay, hang on. So I just have it in my hand, and if you said, "Well, I didn't even hear it," yeah, when I hear it the first time. I think there could even be like a vibrating platform that just made a noise. And this is the other one, Courtney. This isn't this isn't the one your friends were getting. This one already has a deposit on it, but it's staying here for the school. So I'm just I'm just making the correlating the pager with my movement, which is what I'm gonna be doing later anyway. So, if you say he's fat, oh, he's fat. If you're there, Kim, oh, he's fat. Kim likes him fat. I've got those tiny steps. If he said, well, she's helping him, it's, he just now, all he's got is sight and, and sound. <laughs> you know, they ought to have a teeny tiny collar by now, the size of a Fitbit you can put on your puppy pager. Puppy, I begged and begged and begged Doctra to come out with a puppy pager. If he said, what did you say? I said, take your stupid IQ and remove the electricity. Just take your same damn little mold that you already have. Basically, I told him to make Greg's collar with the flat, that flat, remember that one he had, the, the pager only, the flat one. And I said, make it pink or blue. You're, you're using this as an entry level collar. These people get this, then they move on, move on, move on. We don't sell them one collar for a lifetime. That's not a good marketing strategy. <laughs> If you said they didn't know, they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. It's very exciting, though, pagers on puppies. Oh, he's already spinning back that way. Oh my God, he's like a little living doll. Am I wrong? Seinfeld. Uh, Lorenzo's got to watch the whole season of Seinfeld when he's here. Uh, a whole nine seasons. No, he could probably skip like the first couple. If there's references he doesn't get, I'll be able to tell him. But the one where George wanted that suit so bad, but then when he walked, his legs clicked together and then it was making all this noise and the people couldn't stand it. All right, folks, I'm going this way. 
Okay. Now suddenly. So you can see where that's, I'm going to start doing that, Mike. I mean, that's just what I'm going to start doing. If you said, oh, I've seen it before. They use it in wildlife, you know, like those one, or cows or whatever. Remember, I thought, that, remember those cows had that one collar on that one time. Yeah, all right, Mike, I, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now we can do our deliver to hand. And if you said, what should we use? I was actually using the tiny keys. Maybe not with this one. I got some tiny keys over here. I shouldn't move around without buzzing anymore, though. I should buzz. I should buzz all the time now. I should buzz all the time. Well, I didn't go to the platform, so I didn't buzz. I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to buzz and go to the platform. He said his reaction time. Reaction time is slow. He's a little puppy. Okay. All right, let me, oh, my purse came too, look. Here's my purse. I have to do the photo shoot later with Angus in the purse. Oh yeah, it's a nice messenger bag too. It has a place for your iPad, all of it. All of it, stuff, lip gloss, all of it. All of it, Courtney. Lip, lip gloss, lipstick, all of it. All of it, plenty of room. If you said what you're doing isn't helping, then yeah, it will. It's just, it's just, it's just a beyond cute dog. He's already polarized to the platform, though, just that. If you said, what if I made him sit up there, why would you have, you're not going to be able to do that with a little puppy. If you said, no. Bring your three-year-old over here and I'll make it sit in a chair. Sit in a chair. Uh, I've, tried, I've seen these people. I tell people, the good kids, if you said, what do they, when people bring their kids, they say, don't run around, sit down, sit still, don't get in the mud. If you said, what's what happens? The good kids sit down for like two seconds and then run straight for the mud. The bad ones do it immediately. <laughs> okay, so now I can, now, so that's just one thing. Uh, that's my platform drill. That's my groundwork. I'm saying no wrong can happen here, only right. And you've only got limited things that you can do. You can run, you can jump, you can pick stuff up. So all this good stuff's going to be happening right here. So let me get my treats in the bag. You precious angel. I could even just... All right, hang on. Let me just do this. I just like the way it hangs on there. If you said that's going to be very, it is, it's already going to be permanent. <laughs> you know, it just, it's like my favorite chair, like when I was a kid. Oh, when I, yay. When I was a kid, I, we had these beanbag chairs. Yeah, that was a kid's dream. I don't know if you remember these beanbag chairs that they used to have. All right, hang on, let me plug this thing in, it's getting ready to die. Hang on. this purse. It's leather on the front and then the back is canvas. And look. Oh, it's got an unzippable. Oh, you, you put your uh, uh, your tablet in there and then it, it detaches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, Tracy. Oh, hey, girl. 
If you ever come visit me, expect to get this as a gift. <laughs> You're like, you give gifts? <laughs> I'll be there. I mean, how cute is this bag, though? They have a few different breeds, too. But, I mean, I, yeah, the one I have doesn't have a zipper part. If you said, well, it's, you always drop it, stuff could fall out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the one I have now. This one kind of looks like uh, Angus. But you see how it is. <laughs> this is my wallet, too. <laughs> Tracy's like, okay. The wallet actually is the same brand as the purse. Anyway. <laughs> who cares? I'll tell you who cares. Girls care. Okay. So let me get my stuff for him to pick up. So if you said, what do you want? Just something small. Stuff that's small and really easy to pick up right away. Like the little sunglasses. Oh, here's the little keys. The little sunglasses, the little keys. Nothing really, honestly, if you can get some, it's not going to roll around. You don't want anything that's going to start rolling. So you've got the, and you can see, I don't keep going towards him, rubbing his head, doing anything like that. I'm going to make myself as small as possible. My feet are together. You know, the, any clues are going to be obvious when I'm not doing anything. If you said you better move a little faster next time, I, I better, because he was taking them away. If you said from you, maybe from Molly, but away. <laughs> I pull my hand back right away. That's the key. If you're there, Kathy, I should have tagged Kathy, but boom. If you said we have to give the illusion of speed, and a way to do that without moving towards the dog is move away quickly like this. Yes, it is. But boom, I can move fast, uh, you know, and that gives you time to make your fast move because it's your turn now because my hands are gone because <laughs> I don't have hands anymore. <laughs> I don't have hands. <laughs> I see him looking at me. Oh, I see Molly staring at me too. Oh, there's the down. <laughs> Which, you know, again, if you said, is there, no, there's no correction, but your job is to, to just get them not laying down. Okay, there's Annie. There's Annie. No, I do. I think if you had a, a, a round, I'm not sure round platform isn't the right thing, you know, that rotated and stuff. I used to use these, oh, Mike, I don't know if you have any way of getting these. Sure, they're heavy, but... It's not gonna phase the mule. Uh, these wooden spools, like they put like really heavy cables around these wooden spools and you can sit, them. that's what I used to have. And they had holes in them so you could, Kim, I hope you saw that. He put it right in my hand. You could put a tether on there and keep the dog up there and they liked it. In, in hindsight, it was the, the very first version of a climb. And you could put them out there. I, I, you know, I didn't have any trees or anything. I didn't have, all I had was a wide open field. I didn't have a pond. You know, but I had a big obstacle course. I don't even know if there's any old pictures of it. Probably not. But uh, yeah, these electric spools. And they came in all different sizes. I could probably call around. I could probably still get some. He put it right in my hand. So if you said, what's the main thing? Start using 20 different objects? No. no. The, you kind of want the behavior to go seamlessly. You, you really do. If you said, what about correcting? Correcting it? You know, people say, how do we correct? Correct a puppy? You know, that would be like you dropping your kid off for me to babysit me saying, how do I discipline your child? There's a one. There's no discipline. There's guidance. There's guidance and love. <laughs> guidance and love. <laughs> little peanut. He put it right in my hand. So he's sitting down. So I can just, you know, all I've got to do is move. Oh my God. 
Kim, this dog is the cutest damn dog ever. It is the cutest dog ever. Uh oh. If you said you could have seen that coming, and I could, it was my fault. And if you said what happened, once they're sitting, it, it is mechanically very easy to lay down. And if you said, but when you teach them down, you don't teach them to sit first. I don't, but we have to say to ourselves, you know, if you said, what about you? If you're really tired and you sit down, if it's like a lazy boy, yeah. I mean, come on. Or if you said you were just sitting down on someone's day bed waiting for them, but they start getting tired and lay down, yeah, that would happen, you know. It'd be happening quicker from sitting down than it would standing up, so. <laughs> I see him looking at my eyes. I see him looking. I mean, your job is just to get, we can get mommy over here doing it. So now he's up. Oh my God. I hope you saw that, Kim. Hey, put it right behind. His name's Chester. I've had quite a few Chesters over the years. Chester, Chester put it right in my hand. And he, he did. He waited to make sure Molly wasn't going to. Oh my God. And I got close there. He was almost getting ready to lay down. He fell back into a sit. His name. He still puts it in my hand, though. He's going to be a bit of a lazy one. You know, big belly and all. Big belly and all. Now he's watching everything. You know, if I just look away, he's having a party over here. And if you said, why did that work? It worked because he, he couldn't lay down and get it. If he was getting ready to lay down, I'd put it close to him. But he, if he has to get up and walk to get it. Oh my God, Kim, I hope you saw that girl. He put it right in my hand. And I do understand where, again, if it's polarized to the platform, given a choice of a direction to go, if you said it may inadvertently just keep turning, yes, it's not advertent, if there's even a word. It's turning back this way just by, if you said, what if you walk away, is it gonna start propping itself up on there again? Yes, probably. Oh my God. Kim, I hope you saw that. He put it right in my hand. If you said it was a coincidence, that many coincidences? It's very, very, very exciting work is all I can say. You know, and it's, it takes, you know, I've been at this shaped thing for a couple of years now. If you said every dog that came through your hands, mm -hmm. pretty much. If you said all, the only ones that didn't do it was that Merlot, but she'll push it with her nose. <laughs> if you said you have a little more time, but Sandy will probably bring her back here and there. I could probably get her doing it. If you don't think that that's cute, I got nothing for you. If you don't find that cute, my advice is turn out immediately because I got nothing for you. It's, it's just very, I'm being so surgical with my hands is why it's working out so surgically. I'm giving the illusion of speed by going this way as opposed to going this way. And if you said, well, if you seem slow, they don't respect you. They don't. They don't. They don't. If you seem slow, you're the obvious victim. The slowest one, if, you know, come on. Look at these wildlife videos. I, I, I try not to watch them too much. I only watch the ones where it says that whatever got away. The one the other yesterday was, a oh, lion doesn't see a crocodile. Oh, God, I was like, God, do I even dare watch this? Then the video is the white lion walking across. 
<laughs> if you said, which one shouldn't we watch? The hippopotamus ones. Sure. Sure, a purple hippopotamus with big eyes and brown teeth is cute in a cartoon. If you said, what about in real life? Good God, no, these things are awful. Terrible. I've never seen anything so awful. Grabbing things, shaking it with a big old head. Oh, terrifying. <laughs> terrifying animals. If you said you plan to go visit the hippo exhibit anytime soon, no, 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 no. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. You know, but that's that's what I want. That's the lesson for the day. And if you're there, Lorenzo, I'm giving. And you know, I don't want to be weird about it. You know, but if you said if you had retracting arms, if it was very space age and gone, and then they looked at you and said, "Well, it doesn't have any arms now. The arms only come out for very specific reasons, not random petting. <laughs> no random petting." All right, just one more, and then I gotta jump on the elliptical. But I'm arranging it by putting it farther away. He has to stand up. Oops. I'm sorry. It's to me. It's the cutest damn thing ever. It is the cutest thing ever. All right. I'm gonna make a quick. Uh... Oh, hi, Mike. Oh, I hope you... Oh, hi, Kathy. All right, girl, I think you're getting it, girl. I, I think it's... it's. And Mike will tell you, it takes about a year of watching this stuff to figure out what's going on, really, and be able to really feel comfortable. But you're getting there, girl, and I'm really proud of you for uploading videos. These people that can't do it because they're embarrassed, they don't like the way they look, who cares? You should see what I still look like. Oh, my God. Talk about goofus malufus. Better make sure all that shit gets deleted before I die. <laughs> if you said, what are you just basing on the training? No, the clothes I had on in these videos. Jesus Christ. I didn't want to know how I dressed. Thank God I started going on camera. If you said, what did you basically just dress in black sweats? Yes. Yes, black or gray. <laughs> if you said, why, just because it didn't get dirty? Yes, yes. Because that's what didn't get dirty. If you said you still kind of do that. I know everything went full circle. I'm back where I started. <laughs> I'm back where I started. But yeah, oh, I would say hot mess. So you said after you started going on camera, you got a little bit more fixed up. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. If you said why, because you saw what a hot mess you were. Yes. <laughs> Total hot mess. <laughs> Okay. If you said it isn't, it's just a coincidence. That many coincidences? How is it that many coincidences? How is that even possible? Anyway, Kim, he's absolutely awesome. I don't want you to worry about the house breaking and all that. They already go way off in the bushes. If you said, did you teach him to do that? No, but I provided an opportunity for that to happen. And if you said, uh, by letting him out all the time, starting very young with the mother. And so then very young, they started going out in the grass and exploring, you know, just being normal little puppies. And then they just figured out on their own to go to the farthest part where there was tall bushes. <laughs> they did. Some of them do. If you said, what if there wasn't any tall bushes? They never would have figured that part out. <laughs> Obviously, if there's no tall bushes, I would just do live puppy stream all day, every day. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh oh, there we go, the laying down. Let's see if I'll put it in my hand though. Oh, see. He even got up. He even got up and did it. It's unbelievable. He is unbelievable. Anyway, Kim, that's Chester, so. All right, you guys. I will. Oh, hi, Jack. Oh, okay, Jack. I hope you. Please review this video. In fact, no, 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 no. Here, Jack. Here, Jack. I don't know if uh, Bob told you they came down. We went to lunch. If you said you'll treasure that lunch video forever. Yes, I now plan on taking every single person that comes here to that place for those tacos. The best thing ever. And if you said to Bob, oh, Bob had the time of his life. If you said because the waitress was cute. Oh, partly, partly. Yes, yes, yes. And we could take the dogs into this place. Yes. Between the good food, the dog being able to go in there, and the cute waitress. Bob was having the time of his life. <laughs> if you said, what about Susan? Her too. <laughs> Her too. Anyway, just follow this step by step. All right, you guys, be right back.